Hey guys, welcome to today's video of tons of new makeup. If you saw my PR unboxing, I tried to try a lot of it in that video and then I had a bunch of stuff that I have recently purchased. I just have so much here, nude sticks, contour, I have bronzing palettes, I have new eyeshadow, just like new, 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 new. And I thought we would try it out together, see what's good, what's not, have a chit chat. I feel kind of like in one of those moods where I just wanna hang out and play with makeup. So let's jump on in. Also, I am here twice a week, you guys. If you enjoy these kind of videos, make sure you are subscribed, ring the bell, thumbs it up. My name is Tati to anyone that is new here. I review it all. I just love makeup and I love trying it on on camera and giving you really honest reviews. I'm gonna put on this Girlactic Jelly Balm just to kind of get something on my lips because they need a little TLC. I do love these. They have such a nice grape scent. Really makes me crave grape bubble gum when I use it though, so you have been warned. Scrub-a-dub-dub, this is my new favorite thing to do, like my first step. Just lightly, like you do not need to go in and like power scrub, just get the blood flowing, get a little bit of the gunky dead skin off and you are good. I'm enjoying the straightened hair today. Thank you to my Dyson straightener. That straightener is amazing, by the way. Like, honestly, I have other straighteners. This one's still just in 2.2, gets it completely done. Uh, let's see here, where do we wanna start? The beautiful primer from Kajir Wise. I am gonna practice saying the brand name tonight because I love this brand so much and they just sent me a big, beautiful box of makeup to play with. You can purchase this online on Amazon. Blue Mercury sells it. It's just like one of my newer, more luxury favorites. I can't say the brand name. I keep forgetting it. Kier Weiss. Kier Weiss. Okay, so we're gonna go in. Let's do a one-two pump. I'm already lightly moisturized, so I just like to kind of, right before doing makeup, get a little extra because I'm at that age where I'm not just combo. I'm like a little bit combo, but a little more on the dry side where if I don't prime my face properly throughout the day, I will get flaky and I don't want that. And you probably don't want that and no one wants that. So make sure you are using a good primer. Um, that, that sunk in real nice. Refreshing scent. Light, I think I like it. Love that it's glass, love that it's in a pump. Let's go in with just a dash will do you. We don't even need to talk about it. We're not even gonna talk about it. The new everyday duo, Banana Bright has met another friend, which is the Lunan Aster Hydra Under Eye Brightening Corrector. These two will just make you look like you have slept a million hours, woke up so refreshed, you're having the best day ever, and you are a rested queen, okay? You use this duo and that darkness under the eye and any dryness just banishes. The rest of me is still very pale, but this just looks so corrected. If you're like dashing to the gym, maybe you have a tiny insecurity about the darkness under your eyes, this will get it done. Okay, and I wanted to show you guys this. I got this in PR and I just had to do a close up before I ruin it. This is from Catrice, so it's not gonna break the bank. This is a drugstore line that I really love. How? Oh my gosh. The satisfaction that I feel just staring at this balm that has glitter that is iridescent purple and gold at the same time. This is the Catrice Sparkle Glow Lip Balm. I forgot I had this, let's just... This might turn my lips like a weird pink. I don't care, I wanted to try it. It's more just staring at the bullet than... Well, actually it's giving a little sparkle, a little something. I like it. I'm exploring more balms and oils. What has TikTok done to me? I usually don't like either of them but here we are. Okay, so I'm gonna get started with a little bit of concealer and a little bit of contour. This is an old friend that we know well. There's nothing that super new or spectacular, but this is just a good one from Hourglass. I do really like getting brightness up on the side of the nose. You don't necessarily have to paint the whole nose though is what I'm realizing recently. I'm like, yo, hold back a little bit, you know? And then I like to take what excess I have and kind of get it up in this region. 
on most people looks really nice to have some brightness right through here. A little bit better. We are one color step in. Let's go into a new product from Nude Sticks. This is the Nudes Matte All Over Face Bronzer. Now I'm gonna just go in with the stick. I have not done that in a while. I usually use my RCMA palette and I'm really, like I'm not gonna talk when I'm doing this, but I like to go in with a brush. So this is, this feels adventurous. Can I just make uneven cheekbones? You guys, to this day, I still, when I'm doing contour, I have an inner monologue that is like, what are you doing? Why are you doing that to your face? I don't know what it is, but I, I, I laugh. Like I'm like, while I'm doing it, I'm like, this does look legitimately ridiculous, you know? But the end result is so pretty. I can't get away from it. I can't escape it. Not so sure how the nose is gonna turn out. This is very TikTok. This is very like, easy like this, right? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm like, how is the makeup getting done like that and looking so good? I just tend to be very detailed with my makeup. That's just who I am, how I am. So the more effortless thing is actually like really a big mind mess for me. Probably still gonna wear a ton of makeup today cause I'm like, I keep saying I wanna try more of the clean girl thing, but then I end up doing like a winged liner with glitter and like dark smoky and the whole thing. So we shall see. I don't have a plan. I just wanted to try these products, see how they blended, all of that. I'm gonna kind of press this in now. Ooh, this is a little bit of a tougher blend and actually I don't mind it because it's not like slipping and sliding everywhere. It is that more true matte finish, which will be interesting to like see how it wears. Ooh, I like it. I like it. We're gonna go in with W4, the new true match that comes in the glass bottle with a pump. Love it, did not love the old bottle. So let's see how this goes. I'm gonna go in with my Scott Barnes, just favorite, favorite brush. This is the 6.8. He actually sent me a new glass palette and I kid you not, James opened it and he opened it almost upside down. And I thought we were gonna have like the glass breaking um, episode number two. It made it, it's here. Thank you, Scott, for sending that my way. So I'm gonna start kind of on the neck. I'm gonna start tapping over the contour. This is actually a good drugstore formula to do the underpainting technique with because it's light and silky and you don't want anything that's like too thick because then what's the point? You just want it to be like a haze over the contour and highlight, not like full, full coverage. You know what I'm saying? This is looking really pretty on the skin. Did they change the formula too? I need to put my research cap on because this is nice. I feel fresh. It's actually reminding me of the Chanel, the $75 one likely does not have anything close to the skincare benefits, but the formula is really, really juicy and nice, but not greasy and still provides some coverage. I'm gonna go one more pump in. We need to do the nose. I'm kind of scared. Oh, that was too much. Ah! Okay, if you get in a danger zone of like, oh crap, I just had too much on the brush and I don't even know what I just did, take your dampened beauty blender with no product on it. It's kind of like your magic eraser and you can just bounce this on the skin and the sponge will actually suck some of the excess back into the sponge if you have ever made a mistake. I make mistakes on the daily. I just know kind of how to twist and turn with it and still come out looking good. My goodness, okay. I recently got sent, and by recently, I mean just a matter of days ago, the world's most luxurious, potent skincare. And I think you say it's auteur. 
It means artist. I think that's the brand name. Auteur. I'm probably saying that wrong too. Let me embarrass myself on the internet some more. But you guys, this skincare is ridiculously expensive. Like I don't even wanna tell you how much it is. It almost makes me go, ugh, like, uh, but they sent it to me. So I'm like, thank you, like amazing. I will accept your gift. It has like 40 actives in each product. You can only use one pump. It's like very clear, like don't use more than a pump at a time. It's too much, like it's very concentrated, less is more. So I literally have to be like, dink. I've only used this for like three or four days. I kid you not, I'm seeing a difference in my skin, which makes me kind of crazy. It like firms the skin, hydrates the skin. It's doing all the things. However, there is like this warning or like heads up on the website that says this is not compatible with silicones. So if you use dimethicone or anything silicone in your makeup, like this might not be compatible, which in my head, I'm like, okay, so I gotta not use it in the morning then because I've been wondering why my skin, like I have pilling on the side. The makeup does not wanna be here or something. So I'm not gonna say that this pilling is a problem of the primer, the foundation, or the bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and say, I am the person that did not listen to the instructions of this skincare that I am testing out that I'm so far super loving. We're just going to work with what we got and I'm gonna try my best to not over rub the skin as I continue doing the makeup. At my age, I am curious in more high end skincare that has actives in it that can really perform well, help the cellular turnover. I'm not doing Botox right now, I'm not a lot. I actually got a hater comment that was like, tell the truth. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so offended. And then I'm like, Am I like, thank you that you think that. For now, I have opted to just not. I've just given my face a break, you know, but if you go and get it, you do you. That being said, I do not mind spending the extra money on higher end skincare. So there are pieces of my collection that I will you know, spend that extra money on. In my head, I'm like, well, I'm not going to the med spa. I'm not doing facials. I may as well have like a really beautiful home skincare set. And also this particular company, I actually am really into their research and I think it's pretty cool. So let me just continue on now that some of the, some of this is flaking off, gosh dang it. I don't know why that would be that it would do that, but it really does. I also don't know how skincare could give you results in literally three days. Like normally I will try skincare for at least 30 days before talking about it with you guys. This is just something that I got sent and I got so excited. I was like, I cannot even believe they sent me so much stuff. They didn't send me cream, which I think I'm gonna purchase myself. I like it that much already, but yeah, it's bananas. I'll update you guys if there are those of you out there that will not get crazy mad at me for trying out such a high, high end line, then maybe I will do like a more in-depth review. It's not sponsored at all. They just sent me stuff. Let's, oh, this could be, this could pill too. Gosh dang it. This is the wrong day to be trying all these cream products. Really wanted to try this and have it go well. Okay. I'm going to go higher on the cheek. I won't tell you this, ladies. I am guilty myself of watching TikTok and watching people that are a lot younger than me do their makeup in a certain way. And then I'm like, oh, that will look great on me too. And then I do it and I'm like, oh yeah, you have a little bit more of a dip right here underneath the eye, under the hollows of the eye. And sometimes the high, high placement of the blush, although it can look beautiful on certain people, if you have hollows right here, be careful that you're not getting that pink blush all the way up because it can really start to look optically a little uneven and not the most flattering. I do find when you're trying to do a higher blend, a smaller brush is key. This is really pretty. So I try to not get in this dip area and I just bring it kind of close to the nostril here. If you bring your blush too far down, it's gonna drag the whole face down. Don't copy me, don't copy anyone else. Play around with what is gonna look best for your face shape. I think that's so important to always point out because things will look different on everyone, you know? I can't do all the trends. You know what a freaking idiot I look like with the red on the nose? It's like the most 
awful trend on me. Or freckles, oh my gosh. All it does is actually pulls all the pigment everywhere else on my face out. So it's just like, you got like, like something's going on here that's kind of weird. Like, I don't know. Those would be two trends that are just not for me. She is flushed. I am flushed. Did I just go for a jog? I don't know. Uh, we're gonna go into the Givenchy powder that I am dying over how much I really love baking with this. Genius move, whoever started this trend, because I only ever used it as setting powder. I never thought to bake with it because let's be honest, back in the day, like the era of, what was this, 2016, 17, like dunk your face in Cody Airspun and call it good. It was just like, if you could get the most thick coverage powder to bake with, that is what you wanted. And so this was like, no, it's too sheer. I'm wasting my time. But now the game is to look glamorously, I woke up like this. That is the game. All right, now I'm gonna hush and put on some brows. All right, well, let's have some forgiveness towards myself for my brows today. Not loving them right now. My skin does feel good though, I will say that, despite the products kind of having a reaction, it feels good. I really wanna go into it. this guy right here, the Athena Quad from Mellow Cosmetics, made in Australia, love this brand. I'm excited to have this. I'm gonna not go too crazy nuts. I'm running basic errands. It's get ready with me to go to the post office and to fill up my gas tank. So we're gonna go into these two right here. But I still like to get ready and play with makeup, you know? Sometimes online will make you feel like you are the most boring person on the planet. If you have ever felt like that, I assure you, you are not alone. But I will tell you this, use perhaps the time in your life where you're like, oh man, like everybody else is like, uh, get ready with me going to the best ball ever and I'm amazing and you're just like, wow. And also I've lived that life and it's exciting, but at the same time you're like, oh, I wish I could get home, take these shoes off and have some chips and salsa. Like it really is like that. Um, so don't be fooled. But sometimes we watch that and we're like, man, my life is boring. Use the time in your boring life at least I use the time in my boring life, to self-improve, to be mindful, to be thoughtful about what you're doing, goals that you wanna set, relationships you wanna deepen. I'm really into listening to podcasts right now, whether it's about nutrition or educating myself on how to be more motivated in my life or in business. I feel like it's a way that I can make my more simple life more exciting and just feel more alive and vibrant in even the most mundane days. So right now, what I'm trying to do, like a huge goal of mine, you guys, I have a chronic, getting like my veins popping because I'm getting nervous, like exposing myself. By the way, how gorgeous are those two colors mixed together? Like I'm not even doing anything else. The blend is there, okay? Love it, loving this. So I, I dust off this big, I am a chronic snooze button hitter. It has caused marital problems. It is an issue. I'm not proud of the fact that I will actually go out of my way to set like four alarms. There is nothing better than being in a cozy bed and your alarm goes off and you're like, sweet. I have another 40 minutes and I'll use that 40 minutes to just be like snooze, snooze, snooze. And so I'm making it a mission to make my mornings more productive. And that's really hard when you don't have to drop kids off at school. You're not expected to be at an office. You're not, you know, I have work to do, but sometimes I'll push it and then I'll be up super late and then the cycle will repeat. So I'm really trying to uh, show up for myself a little bit more, be a bit more steady and disciplined. 
And so I'm really into motivational podcasts right now. I was just listening to Mel Robbins. She has a great one on morning routine. Who else do I live, listen to? The Huberman Lab? I think that's what you'd call, I think that's how he says his name. I'm into podcasts. Leave me your recommendations. Let me know, do you struggle with that? Because Mel Robbins, she's like, count backwards from five and pop out of bed. Part of me is like, I wanna document like 30 days of waking up at 6 a.m because I have labeled myself as a night owl and I've just accepted it. And I think we can get trapped in that thought process when we decide a bad habit or a bad routine is who we are. And I think the first step is acknowledging that a habit that's not serving your life purpose and making you feel more fulfilled is there. Like the first step is like, we gotta break it. Like it's there, it's not doing me any good. I gotta break that cycle. But yeah, I'm all about getting ready every day, whether I have a big thing to do, filming or a small thing. I'm back in that empowerment of makeup instead of looking at it as something so frivolous. I've also found that self-care in the form of beauty, like washing my hair, putting on a nice dress, putting on just like a cute little bit of makeup, even if I'm just staying at home, it has been amazing as far as my mood, like mental health, no joke, I'm back in it. And I think that's why I'm so excited to just explore all the makeup again. I'm like, wow, I really demonized this in the wrong way. I literally for a hot minute was just like questioning if I had the most vain job on planet earth and if it was the right thing to be encouraging people to stare in a mirror and put on makeup. And I struggled with that, but I've arrived to this place where I'm like, you know what? makes me really happy. I'm not hurting anyone. I feel like when I feel cute, I am nicer. I have a better energy. I even feel more awake, if that makes sense. And just this time out helps me. It helps my headspace. So I've stopped that whole thought process and now I'm having fun with it again. And it's so funny that you can be the person in your mind to put that stopper. You can be the person to be like, you know what? I've decided this is good or bad. Um, did I need that break in season for a reason? Yes. But now I'm like back in it and I'm like, oh, this is really creative and fun. Why did I think this was so bad? But it's just interesting to me, like the whole thought process around getting ready and like how much vanity is too much vanity and just kind of keeping balance in all things. So anyway, rant over. I do have this from Mello also. I really like how their products blend. I always feel like success when I start putting my jewelry on because I'm like, we are near the finish line. Okay, we're gonna go into these two highlights. I'm just gonna boom, 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 lightly. I don't want this to look crazy, just a little. Okay, do I want bronzer? Yes. Why not, why not? Let's go in here. This is a pretty dark bronzer. Oh no, oh no, it's pilling again, gosh darn it. Okay, I'm loving the new skincare. I'm never using it during the day ever again, unless I'm not planning on wearing makeup because this never happens. Maybe if I just like, we'll just do this. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, flashback in my mind right now. When I used to post five days a week, there was like no wiggle room. If something went wrong, it was like, I have to post. Like, it doesn't matter if I have the flu, if something went wrong with my face, I was like, I have to post. Um, I'm gonna put on some eyeliner while I tell this story, so this could be interesting. I'm gonna take the Lancome Ultra Precise Waterproof Liner. This is a brown liner. I'm just gonna do like a baby flick. Should I be talking while doing this? Probably not. All right, that went on really nice. That was like the quickest little baby wing ever. This is really nice. I just got this in PR. I like it. Okay, so now we will story time. I have the, like my face doing the peely thing, the pilling thing is reminding me when I went to go and get a professional peel done at a spa and I forgot to tell them that I had been using retinol products 
And so she put the peel on and I shot out of the bed. Like I literally like it burned like a chemical peel. It burned so bad that I was like, ah! And I like sat out of the bed and she's like, oh my God, oh my God. Like got the pads and like is wiping it off me really quick. And it was just miscommunication that what I had been using at home to <laughs> do my skincare interacted with the peel that I was getting done professionally. I'm gonna put on this Lux Lash from Jasmine Beauty. She sent me a ton of stuff and honestly, I've been loving it all. So I got home and gave myself a few days. I literally looked like a monster, okay? My face was peeling so disgustingly bad so quickly. I actually had to go on a trip to San Francisco like a few days after that. So I was panicking and like makeup would not go on my face at all. And my temples were peeling the worst for some reason. It was just like all over here was just flaking off. And I was so devoted to my five day a week upload schedule that I still managed to come up with content where you guys would not really see me up close while I was recovering. And one video, <laughs> I laugh now because literally it hurt to talk. And man, I mean, when you're all in on your career, like you're all in, you know? So I literally, it was a fragrance video, like my fragrance collection, because I didn't have to put on any makeup in that video. And my hair is literally, for no reason at all, covering like my, I'm like this. Hey guys, I'm gonna tell you about my fragrance collection. And I was just so hoping no one would notice. And no one did. A few people were like, wow, your hair is like, what, like it's really weird. Like we like to see more of your face, Tati. And in my mind, I'm like, not right now, you don't. Yeah, I just had a flashback to that moment oh my gosh okay i am a volume girl so i'm going in with a little bit extra something something with the rms beauty mascara right here i am going to pop on some lashes let's get to lips i do want to use a mellow lip liner i'm going to try the shade maya Ooh. I haven't worn a hot pink lip like this in a minute. That is a beautiful color. <gasps> Look. Oh my gosh. Gorgeous. So gorgeous. This is again the shade Maya. I almost always hate pink lipstick like this on me, but I am liking it. Okay, we're gonna go back into Jasmine Beauty. I think I wanna do just like this really pinky gloss and just top just a little shine in the middle, right? Ooh, I'll list everything in the description box. Oh my, okay, that is nice. The packaging on these is super cute. It's like a toss in the purse situation. And then you have three glosses right there with you. I think that's really innovative, I like it. Yow, I didn't realize I was gonna like the pink lip this much. I'm gonna go ahead and pop on the understated lashes from Velour. Didn't even have to trim these, wore these the other day, super comfortable, and I like the shape. This might be my new favorite lip liner. Like, I really like that, okay. I'm gonna take this Extreme Gel Presso liner from Clio and pop this in the waterline. I did really enjoy this guy right here is amazing. This is in the shade Pillow Talk Pink Pop. You barely need any at all, and it is intense, blends well. I'm curious to try the other colors. What I wanted to dig into here and try out are these individuals. There's one that's purple and one that is pink in tone. These are the hypnotizing pop shots. This one is the ultraviolet. Oh my goodness. You guys know me in purple, I just have like a thing. It's a thing. Okay, that's stunning. And then we have, oh my. 
Okay, I was not expecting that. Actually, this can go. This is really pretty. This is the diamonds. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna do a little teeny tiny, just like a little kiss of that on the eyes. Why not? Pretty. So absolutely gorgeous. I cannot wait to play with the purple one. I'm gonna seal everything in with a little bit of Scott Barnes downright dewy mist. And we're done. We chatted, we tried all the new new. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and hanging out with me. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Leave me some comments, share the video, go have a good one. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Mwah.